All right, so cool. My name is Akashi, guys. We're here giving you the best teams and equipments that you could use for the new Ultimate Slash Beast Gohan. He's a transforming unit. I'm sure you guys already know. I held off on doing this video instantly because I wanted to see how he really plays in PvP so I can give you a very accurate representation of what teams would work with him and the same thing with any other units that I do in the future for a video like this. But there's not much more to say. Press the subscribe button and let's get into this video now. All right, so cool. The first team I have here is Hybrid Saiyans, but it is kind of a mix of movies but what I've done is I've just taken off Pan from the original Hybrid Saiyan team so I'm sure you guys know when the first Blue Beast Gohan came out who's also on this team there was Pan, Future Gohan and then obviously Beast Gohan those were the three but I've taken off Pan because you don't want to run two reds when there's so many good blues in the game right so we've got these three here now what's so good about Hybrid Saiyans is let me actually get the tag so you can just see only Hybrid Saiyans should be at the top yep there we go there's a lot of options i'm not gonna say there's a lot of good options but there's still a lot of options so these are the three i'm using at the moment and i think it works very well because the team has a track record of working but future gohan has to be a decent amount of stars but it is possible that he could zenkai also in this festival but if we go to the character list right if we're looking at characters that are actually usable sort of hope trunks very usable option on this team he actually has the hybrid saiyan thing added to his unique ability once he got the zenkai so that's good for him Beast Gohan, very valuable guy. Of course, I've already mentioned him. If we go to green, Super Saiyan Go, uh, Super Saiyan Trunks. If you have him 14 stars, but you're really pushing it, I wouldn't advise for it. But I'm just mentioning him. That green Gohan over here is a good option as well to add to your team. If we're looking at purple, Rev Han is a good option. I will also say he's someone you should consider. I use them in my showcase, initial cost showcase. And then for yellow, Future Gohan I've already mentioned, but the gold tanks is actually a really good option as well. So consider having the gold tanks on your team. He's a good tanky option and he has quite versatile use, so I'm not even gonna lie. Then the red, you should just definitely add the Beast Gohan. That's just gonna be a, a guarantee, of course, because he's the unit that we're using. So in this case, you might just want to consider Pan, but again, like I mentioned, you don't want to have two reds. So yeah, this is not the only composition you could build. This is just one I've been using. So I've seen some people maybe take off this guy or these at beast and put sort of hope trunks. So now you've got two endurance guaranteed. You've got a good offensive unit here, and then you might have to change up the bench because these are like movie bench. So besides from uh, these two, these two will work fine. But um, double Zenkai buff for him here. And depending on how you want to go about it, of course, Beast would be a better option than he'd Zenkai buff him as well. So, like, there's lots of ways you can go about it, and it just depends on what unit you really want to use. But Hybrid Saiyans is overall just a good team. It does look like movies a tiny bit. You don't have to use Future Gohan, like I mentioned. You could have Gold Tanks, and then you could even Zenkai buff him. So, you know, it works very well, and this way you get a HP buff. There's just so many combinations you could use. You should really just have fun. There's not one set one at the moment because it is still very early. But I want to show you the possibilities that comes with Hybrid Saiyans as a whole. Next up, we got Son Family. Son Family is basically a similar thing to Hybrid Saiyans. It depends on just what units you want to use. But there's a lot of units in Son Family. I will tell you that for sure. Gold Freezer, literally one of the best units in the game. I can't say outright best unit in the game anymore because Beast Gohan is actually Himothy. But cool. In this team composition, you can see I've got Gold Freezer, Beast, and then uh, the, obviously the new Beast. And then I've got Pan Zenkai buffing these two because of the Son family Zenkai buff. Then I've uh, Zenkai buff for Beast, and then I've got Pan here with the HP buff. But there is a lot you can do. So let's go to the character list first and look at the options that we have. I should see if I'm missing anybody. This Goku here, if you want to lead us slot him, you could. But just pointing out, so Blue, you've got the Beast Gohan, Super Saiyan Goku. Don't use Boo Bros. Please don't. Just don't. Uh, <laughs> go into Green. Tag 4s if you have them 14 stars, maybe, but I wouldn't really consider it. But the new Evo Ken, you could actually consider using them on your team as well. Going into Purple, Rev Han, UI Sign, Go Freeze is going to be your main number one though. He's just diff. He's just so different. He's really different. He started this. If we're going into yellow, like I showed you on Hybrid Saiyans, Future Gohan's a good option, but I did use 4Q in my initial showcase because he has a save. His plat is also Son Family orientated, and he actually buffs the team when he's faced with an enemy. So that's very good for him. And then for red, we've already spoke about with the fact that we're doing this video for Beast Gohan, but you could have Pan as well. Grey Saiyan 1 and 2, Zenkai buff. Just some options there. The green Gohan I mentioned as well, but Son Family really and truly if you have a gold freezer and just beast your third it could be anybody and you will cook you will really cook the bench go for the zenkai boss for your main characters and maybe go for a hp boss so in this case i've got pan but yeah son family as well which is a very good team that's got shadow buffed as of recent times 
like just bit by bit and now that we've got to this point with the new beast with the evil ken as well some families just it's just it's just nuts it's just nuts but they're easily the second team i'd recommend uh somebody use we got the third team now we gotta get into sagas from the movies sagas from the movies is here gogeta blue on the leader slot i got the pycon uh rev Jita. i'm using them as like my shield layer gogeta blue also does that but he's offensive as well then of course the beast gohan's my third ugb getting zenkai buff and then got the double zenkai buff for the beast gohan again with the movie so if i go to character list right and i'm gonna have to change this so let me take this off go to episode sagas from movies okay okay one thing i really need to emphasize is that ultra janemba who i don't have it would easily be a must on this team you have your red and you have your blue immediately right so janemba if you have him definitely use him but you could use beast as well as your blue everybody else in the blue is pretty much written off don't consider them in the greens pycon rev jita use them if you have them orange piccolo could be a good option as well lots of people have been using them as of recent times especially because he got the plat but the plat most people said it didn't really make a difference going into purple we got ugb rev han i'd say those are like your main picks maybe the gohan if you wish going into yellow gold tanks is fitting that bidding but of course i think the best yellow out of all the yellows is gammas gammas are just great man and especially because gohan i believe he's giving like blasted that blast damage to his allies gammas are gonna eat off that for real and then red we again Beast Gohan is about him, but Pan is an option there, and I wouldn't really consider anybody else if we're being really, really for real. You can see there's a lot of options here, but it just depends on how you really want to build it. If you want a HP buff, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I wouldn't really put him on, but Goku over here is a HP buff. Pan is well, I already mentioned Pan, but Goku is one too, so someone you might want to consider just for the sake of the HP buff. But yeah, um, this is not exactly what I would run. Uh, I would actually run this because it's basically like these two are fusions. That's why I've got usually on the slot. Then it's just the movies option. I'd probably go with like Beast. Beast is just very safe with his blue cards consistently coming in, you know. And there's not many good greens that are like damage orientated to really just counter him. Whereas with purples, if I run into gammas, I'm kind of cooked. Gold tanks is very tanky as well. People use yellow Jiren. It's a lot of problems, you know, going around. But Saga's easily a very good team as well. And this composition, I would actually recommend it as a whole. I'm not saying I wouldn't use it. I've literally built it right now. I've seen some people use it as well, but a lot of people use Janemba on the movies team as a must. So yeah. All right, so this is the first one I'm gonna mention. It's the Hybrid Saiyan Awakened Equip. It's literally like the best equipment in the game. I'm not even gonna lie. 8% per of each offensive stat. So you can get up to 24% per, uh, of pure. That is nuts. That is actually nuts so yeah uh you get this a hyper saiyan one rush for the you know the memory and then you get the main one from the equipment collection there's all these events actually there's so many z medal equipment medal the nap of the crawl eliminate the earthlings all over the place you can grab this in all over the place and i suggest you should just collect at least three of these that are good because there's so many good hybrid saiyans so many trunks and, and gohans alone specifically that were released you already seen the beast go hunts so definitely grab a couple of these this one is good as well you can get strike defense on the first slot special move ultimate on the second slot and then health on the third slot that's pretty much a lot of what you want the special move even though you're not getting the ultimate out of it because he doesn't have an ult you'll be getting 12.5 percent 12.5 percent is a big amount so you capitalize off that and you can get this from the equipment collection for hybrid saiyans it's the bonanza right now so lock in if you're running in with ultra janemba this equipment is insane you can get it from the dual coin exchange shop it's the only place unfortunately but you get health on the first slot you get pure blast and pure strike and you also get the base so you can see it's a decent amount you get a bit of everything hybrid saying would apply because it's himself but if you're running in with janemba you get the region one as well so that could work as well for you so yeah the dual coin shop for this one if you have one the legend ranking strike equip the melee one just is it's good it's essential just to have it i'm not going to say it's better than a lot of things but it can give you a lot of base strike attack that you you might not have otherwise so yeah this is obviously in the legends ranking exchange shop it's the only place you can get if you're running son family this is also a must have you're running free son family members right you're getting pure strike and pure blast you're also getting double defense of both type and then in the first slot it depends on what you get you can get this from the co-op at the moment but you'll be in the dual coin shop forever unfortunately that's the only place you can get co-op as a whole this equipment the new superhero movie equipment you get double defense on the last slot which is a big amount 32 percent strike and special move which is pretty much everything beast gohan needs 
how you can get this is from the ultimate equipment collection and with the bonanza right now it's not hard to grab at all so definitely get you one of these it's going to change your whole experience with it man if you're running him with Paikun and Gogeta, this is also a good equip that you could apply because it applies to all sagas from the movies. So it says here, if he's being run with sagas from the movies and other world warriors, so that's Paikun and Gogeta, you're going to get both offenses for Blast and Strike. It's basically like the Son family one, similar to that, uh, you know, but it depends on who you're running and you might have this equip over the other one. So this one's also as good and you can get this from the dual coin shop as well. That's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully this video was helpful. I did my best in composing teams. I didn't mention any leader slot teams because I feel like that's just down to your imagination. But with the fact that Gohan fits on so many teams already, you're free to just put him on any team on a leader slot. But in a lot of the cases, the teams cross over. So for example, when I mentioned Sun Family, you can literally turn that into universe rep and just put Beast on the leader slot, put 17 on the team or put 17 on the team and then keep it Sun Family. There's so many things you can do with making a team for a unit like Gohan or any Saiyan in general but yeah hopefully it was helpful again press the subscribe button we're on this ground to 100,000 subscribers appreciate you guys for watching my name is akashi guys and i'll see you guys in the next one man